Hey, what's up everybody? Chris here again. And today we're going to talk about git pull. So git pull is really just a git fetch and then git x under the hood. That x there uh, refers to a decision that we get to make when we're using the git tool, which is that it will either be a rebase or it will be a merge. So essentially, the the way we can think about git pull is just a combo command, right? So it's just going to do two things at once, nothing too crazy, uh, but it is going to lead well into the next video, which is going to be on rebasing, which is a not a crazy thing, but it is a more complex uh, action that we can take with, with git. But the git pull itself is very straightforward. So let's just get right into it. So right away, we need something to pull, right? So uh, if, if pull is just a combo of fetch, and merge or rebase then we need something to uh you know we need something to fetch so i've got my uh fork of the fetch easy mode repository which will be linked down below and i'm going to go ahead and sync this i could do that with the update branch green button after clicking on sync fork here and again we're approaching this as if we're dealing with a open source project right so i've gotten the changes on my remote or on github.com and so i'm ready to hop over to the terminal now that we've got our terminal we're going to go ahead and get into our local repository so first things first let's just check out and see which one we're going to go into well we know it's get good fetch easy mode so i'm going to go ahead and cd into get good fetch easy mode perfect now that we're here we can see that we are on branch main there's nothing to commit. The working tree is clean. Let's take a look at our git log, and we can see that, in fact, everything's up to date. That's great. We know that until we fetch the changes from the remote, we're not actually going to be able to get them. Well, let's just double check and see what our remote is with the git remote-v command, and we'll see that, indeed, it is pointing to our fork on github.com. And now we're ready to start doing the git pull. So... What do we need to do? Well, let's just try writing git pull. As you can see, we, I mean, there's a lot of text on the screen, right? And so this is where one of the most important skills in dealing with git is reading comes into play. So let's just read and see what happens. There's no tracking information for the current branch. Please specify which branch you want to merge with. See git pull for details, git pull remote branch. If you wish to set tracking information for this branch, you can do so with this command here. Okay, interesting. So let's just try its suggestion and use git pull remote branch. Git pull, and we're pulling from our origin remote, which again, we can see with git remote dash V, we have this origin remote. So let's do git pull origin, and then we're gonna pull from the main branch. That seems to have done something. So let's look at our git log. And we can see, absolutely, we got the updated readme from our remote repository. This is from the repository that we made a fork of. And then we merged those changes into our fork. And now we've pulled them, and they're automatically there. And that's really as simple as it gets. I mean, git pull is a command that combines the two aspects of git fetch uh, and get merged together into one command. Uh, and remember, we do want to be explicit about the remote that we're choosing as well as the branch if we haven't set up specific tracking branch for uh, our local repository. Again, we can use different options if we have divergent branches, either a merge or we can do a rebase. We're going to look at those two cases specifically in the next two videos. So we're going to have git pull divergent branch for a merge case and then git pull divergent branch for rebase case. And that way you can see what the differences between the two are, but we don't have to clutter this video with that information. So thanks so much for watching. That's really it today. Just, uh, just walking you through what git pull is doing. All right. Thanks so much for watching. That's it. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.